We've all seen the damage that can occur when Mother Nature blows high wind speeds at our homes. If there's any good news that can come out of these storms is that it pushes us to find better ways to build stronger, more wind resistant homes. Today I want to show you some of the technology that we build into our homes to counteract these high wind speeds. We're going to take a look at a couple of homes in a coastal region that are in a high wind speed zone. So let's get out in the field and let's take a look. On this house here, the first thing we notice is the structural grade sheathing on the exterior walls that have been secured with the proper nails and locations. The sheathing works to hold the wall studs, plates, and headers together. Okay, here we see the bottom plate on the wall is secured to the foundation with bolts that have been embedded into the foundation concrete. Then we have the metal connectors that tie the wall studs to the base plates. In the old days, there were just a couple nails holding these together. The metal straps used here tie the top of the wall together. So when high wind speeds apply pressure to this home, we want the house to be tied together from the foundation to the roof to hold all of these different components together. Here a large connector has been embedded into the concrete foundation and it will eventually be secured to the corner of the home. You can see the massive number of fasteners that hold this connector to the house. Here is a roof truss to wall connector. Again, the metal strap needs more nails and will eventually wrap under the doubler plate to tie the roof framing and wall together. You can see how many holes are in this connector that are going to be filled with nails trying to counteract that massive force from that wind on the side of this building trying to pull that roof off. This large steel connector ties the wall down to the foundation with an anchor that's embedded into the concrete. Lag bolts are used for the connection to the wood framing. This strap that runs diagonally across the wall is called let-in bracing. It's also called rack bracing, which prevents the wall from racking. In other words, it prevents the wall from being pushed out of square. This is another method for holding the house in place when wind loads are applied. So you can see we've come a long way in building stronger homes. We went from using just a couple nails per stud and rafter to now using some serious engineered connectors that have been tested to withstand some heavy wind loads. So I think we can all agree that sometimes we're happy that we don't build them like we used to.